Whitmore and Mally McQuaid took the woman's side of Xterra to a different universe. And actually, the woman's race became more important than the guy's race in a lot of cases. But the two of them couldn't like each other. It was like a Dave Scott Mark Allen thing, right? They could not like each other. It's a small pie, you want to be the best, and there's some person standing in your way. So I love the dynamics between the two of them because you would be at meetings with them, at, the, at the pro meetings, where they could be five feet from each other and not say a word, right? Because they both wanted to win, and the only way they win is if the other one loses. So that to me is rivalries are the best. That's what makes sport phenomenal. I can't talk about you know my female competitors without talking about Jamie because uh, she defines like an entire era of ex-terra racing um, because she and I went back and forth for so long. I, I, I think it was from like 2003 through 2009. We basically won or came second in pretty much every race for, for this block of time. It was such an aggressive uh, rivalry where like you know when the gun went off we did not like each other like just having somebody that was so close to you with a different um, approach a different skill set a different, different strategy for every race was was just so powerful in, in both of us um, striving to get the best out of ourselves I think we thrived off of that rivalry it just fed us and it just made us stronger and it made us better and it was it was awesome she was a really powerful motivator for me to train hard to find ways to limit my weakness and to look to ways to improve i loved the fact that i could have one person that when i towed that line it was like i, I want to take her down <laughs> and, I, and i know she felt that way about me as well i mean you can dig up any article and it was always, it was the Jamie and Melanie show and I mean, it was fantastic. I love it. Yeah.